This is Jess with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching today. This is going to be a video of my recap of my July goals. Um, and Lucy's running around the background, so there's that. Um, at the beginning of July, I sat down and I made a list of eight goals that I wanted to concentrate on um, this month. And this is the last day of July. I can't believe it. And I'm going to let you know how it went, um, how I think I did. And I will try to grade myself as I go on how I did and um, be looking out tomorrow, hopefully, crossing my fingers, I can get that up tomorrow, um, a video of my August goals. So I can start working on a new set of goals. I will have that up for you tomorrow. And um, let's get started. So my first goal was to start increasing my protein up to 20% of my daily calories percentage. Um, yeah. I did have a few days where I got up to 20% and I've been consciously working on eating more protein. <laughs> but it hasn't happened every day. Um, it's not happened only but a couple of times. So mm, I give myself a C. C for trying. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I'm still working on getting more protein in. I did start eating a boiled egg every day. I've been eating more Greek yogurt. Um, I've been trying to make better choices and when I'm hungry, eat something with protein, but it's still been very difficult to get in the protein. So I've been trying, it's a work in progress. Number two was to drink at least 64 ounces of water every day. Got that down. Um, I've drinking well over 64 ounces almost every day this month. So I've been doing really good with that. A plus for that one. Um, number three, track everything on my fitness pal. I've done that every single day. Um, this month and I have a video filmed every single day this month. Um, so I did great with that A plus for tracking. If you don't track, you're going to eat more. That's just how it is. When you are accountable for what you eat, you eat less. So I've done very good on that. Um, number four, eat out less once or twice a week. Mm -mm. D. <laughs> Not good. We've been eating out a lot, but we're really busy right now. That was probably a unrealistic goal that I made. Um, so I give the goal a fail because our life is too busy right now to follow that. But um, I will say I've been trying to at least when we go out make make healthier choices. And um, we have limited it more than we did in June, I'm pretty sure. So still probably a D for that. But that's okay. Um, number five. Uh, find my garment and get eight to 10,000 steps a day. When I made this, I hadn't found this yet. It was still packed. So obviously I found it. And you guys who have been watching my daily vlogs, you know, I've been killing it on the steps this month. I have been getting in 12, 13,000, over 10,000 the last three weeks. I've been doing really, really great getting in all my steps. I've been going and walking at the mall. I give myself A plus plus definitely. Um, okay. So definitely good on that. And my stuff is over here. That's why I keep looking. <laughs> and then for six, lose six pounds, get down to 228. Um, I don't think I've hit that. I weighed in on Wednesday, so that was three or four days ago, and I was down to 230. So I could be down. I don't think I'm quite down that low yet. I've lost down to 230, so I've lost four pounds. Um, and we'll see when I weigh in. I say a B. I've done pretty good. B plus on that. Um, but I still have to lose a couple more to get down to 228. It'll happen. Seven more veggies, get some every day. I think I've definitely done better at that. I've been eating a ton of salads, sugar snap peas, um, mostly salads and sugar snap peas. <laughs> I'm not huge on cooked vegetables, so I've been trying to get them in raw. That's how I eat them better. But I do, I've been doing really good at that. I'll say a B on that as well. There's been a few days where I haven't had veggies, but most days I have. And number eight, eight hours of sleep every day. Sleep is so important to losing weight. If you do not sleep and your body's not rested, it cannot burn and it cannot lose as well. So um, I can, this thing tracks my sleep as well and I'm able to look at it. Most nights I get close to eight hours, between seven and eight hours, I would say. There was one, one or two nights this month where I got like six, but that's very rare. So it even like gave me an award as a great sleeper. <laughs> You log into the app and it'll tell you like how you're doing and it gave me a little 
uh, badge for getting great night's sleep. So I've been doing good on that. Um, so that's the last one. I would say an A minus because there's a couple of nights I didn't do great on that. But that's really not my fault. That's the kids fault. Um, and they've been getting up earlier, but um, I can get to bed earlier and that's what I've been trying to do. So overall, I would say this is a solid B plus month. Um, the things I've done well, starting walking, getting in my steps, drinking more water was started this month. Um, tracking everything was continued this month. I had already started it in June. Increasing my protein, I started working on this month. So I've had a lot of positive change this month and a lot of stuff I need to keep working on. So if you want to see my updated list of goals, come back tomorrow. I'm going to get on here and tell you all of the goals that I have for August and what I'm going to be working on and um, come back and see that. So if you want to make sure you get notified, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That is, how you're, that is how you will know when I post something new. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and click that. What did I just say? Click that like button. Um, leave a comment down below and I will talk to you guys soon.